Swamp at least with residual energy, good to go. Back out comes Polyrath Ty, not baiting, going straight for the return. The opponent probably absolutely bamboozled, so we wham bam combo play into my Lotic, and it's time for the beam. So, welcome back to the channel today. We are entering the spice zone, courtesy of my good friend Ty, the king of entertainment. His in game name, we're just not going to talk about, but you can read it on the screen. Ty always runs incredibly spicy teams and today we are looking at a Swampert with Return. Do you want Return? That's pretty questionable. Earthquake is an absolute Hail Mary of a nuke. We're running Triple Water with double Dragon Tail users in the lead and on the safe switch and we're going to see if we can land a few returns. Without any further ado, let's get into the battles. And in game one, we see a pretty poor lead. A Bomber Snow has the ability to hit both Molotic and Swampert for huge damage with the energy ball Gyarados. Might only take neutral from grass, but due to its flying typing, it also takes neutral from ice. The opponent baits us with a weather ball, they then land the energy ball. The opponent then makes a savage catch, catching the hyper beam. Onto Swampert. Swampert, not known for its bulk, took a lot of damage tying our pivots out into Gyarados, and he's not messing around. He goes straight for the Aquatel. Aquatel will be knocking out the opponent, chooses the shield, and that's pretty questionable. Even if the opponent has Sludge Wave, Sludge Wave isn't going to do too much to Gyarados. The opponent committing a shield was a good inkling. They did have Sludge, however, Gyarados shrugs it off back out. Comes a Bomber Snow. Ty now going for the Aquatel bait. Aquatel won't knock out. However, Ty being the king of the Master Baiters in the opponent's head, the opponent shielded up. The resisted move, they take us out with the Weville. In comes Swampert and his Talonflame in the back. Ty continues to overfarm, knowing he can't one-shot this Talonflame with a single Hydro Cannon. He attempts to sack the Milotic, however gets caught in the mud shot animation. The opponent full YOLOs the bird. This does now mean Hydro Cannon will be returning the Kentucky Fried Chicken Bird of Death to that Pokeball. Back out comes the Abomus. No, Ty banks the return. He attempts to sack the Milotic. He's unsuccessful. However, Weatherball, even resisted, takes us out. We've got the return locked. And loaded, and Swampert is going to quite literally return a Bomber Snow to their Pokeball, and we're off to a 1 0 start. Moving on to the next one. Ty has seen a fellow Spice Lord out here repping the Ho O. -Oh. Huge shout out to this opponent. They say switch into Lapras. They fire after only six. This can only be a Surf or an Ice Beam, despite my Lotic looking like a kind of weird snake dragging looking motherfucker. We're actually a pure water type, so that is resisted. We then full YOLO the Hyper Beam, getting this Lapras into the red. They then fire off the Surf, realising that's also resisted. Ty can now Dragon Tail, farm them down. However, he chooses to snipe with his Gyarados. Out comes ho -O. To throw an Incinerate, and then the opponent says, no thank you, I'm out of here. Moving on to the next battle. We need our fake dragon into a real dragon, a great lead. The opponent safe switches into Ludicola. We don't really have any real response for this. Ty Farms up to the crunch, baits with an Aquatel, really hoping to draw a shield, and the opponent does shield. Ty really needs alignment as he doesn't really want to align his swamp, but with the Chiron, the opponent full sends the Leaf Storm. Holy smokes, I wasn't expecting that. Ty now over farms, choose the Razor Leafs, doing less damage due to Leaf Storm, lowering the opponent's own attack. We fire off the Aquatel, Aquatel doesn't knock out. We then Dragon Tail farm down, we leave with the crunch, and it looks like it's Jellison in the back. Jellison isn't going to appreciate this crunch. We get the defense drop. Gyarados putting in a whole heap of work. It looks like my analogy in the mid game is wrong. It's due to Swampert running return. We don't really want our Swampert aligned with the Jellicent. Ty now combo plays into Swampert and looks to use it as a damage sponge. The opponent full sends the Shadow Ball and then send out Kyrum. Kyrum does win CMP. Swampert should survive any one move. The opponent fires off the Dragon Claw. And yet again, we're about to see the return land. Return, a pretty good move. Holy smokes, it near one shots. We mud shot down. Back out comes the Jellicent tie. Not going to shield this up. Surf will be taking us out. Milotic can only hit four resisted with our charge moves. However, the Dragon Tails are going to do pretty huge damage. I already know what's coming. If you're a fan of the channel, you would have seen Ty featured time and time again. We over farm. We make the Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is resisted, but why not throw the BM? GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, leading Milotic into Wall Rain. 
pretty good lead. Earthquake will be hitting the neutral, however, the Powder Snows are resisting our Dragon Tails. Do hit the neutral the entirety of the time the opponent throws on alignment. Ty calling that they're going for an Ice School Sphere bait, and that's a great call. Ty building up to the beam, and he's not baiting. He's full sending the beam. Does the opponent respect the damage? They do not. They near get one shot. Ty attempted to catch a potential Earthquake on his flyer, Gyarados. He was unsuccessful, but the opponent did full send the Earthquake. We now come in to Swampert. We get the Mud Shot farm down. The opponent now enters the mirror. Ty farms up a boatload of energy and is going to start unleashing the Hydro Cannons. Hydro Cannon doesn't get a shield. Ty already at the second Hydro Cannon. He actually missed a few bubbles, so this one will be close to knocking out. The opponent does shield the second and then return fire with their own charge move. The opponent full sends the Earthquake. That near one shots, however, Swampert still makes one more Hydro Cannon. Is the opponent willing to double shield Swampert? Yes, they are. We now combo into Gyarados. We've seen Earthquakes. The other charge move most likely to be Hydro Cannon. There's no real reason to run. Anything else, Surf, is just a worse Hydro Cannon. The opponent is on the Legacy Hydro Cannon. That doesn't do a lot. Again, Gyarados going to eat this up. We should be able to Dragon Tail. Farm down. We do get the farm down. What's that final Pokemon? Holy smokes, it's Alolan Golem. Very, very spicy. We fire off the crunch. Fish into the defense drop. We don't get the defense drops. This Aquatel won't be enough to knock out. The opponent is going to be able to farm down. However, we still have one Protect Shield remaining. Ty sends out the Melotic, then catches back on Swampert. And that is going to be all she wrote. The opponent full sends the Wild Charge. And we're going to be able to Dragon Tail down for another impressive dub. Let's go. Moving on to the next one. Milotic into Empoleon. Ty didn't like that lead too much. We pivot out into Swampert. The opponent answers with a Purified of Bomber Snow. This is something we haven't seen on the channel ever. The battle of two Purified Pokemon. The opponent didn't even farm up to the Energy Balls. with an easy tank. Of the Weather Ball, we then land the return near Bomber Snow. Probably thinking, what the heck is going on? The opponent going to fire off one more Weather Ball. This gets Swampert low. Can we make another return? It looks like Ty doesn't think he'll get there. So he settles for a Hydro Cannon. Is the opponent counting? Clearly they're not as they do shield up. The resisted Hydro Cannon Ty now comes in to Gyarados. We are going to shield this up. The opponent full sends the Energy Ball. Great shield from Ty. We then manage to Dragon Tail farm all the way down. Back out comes Empoleon. Gyarados again pretty neutral here. The Dragon Breaths are hitting for resist. If we do resist the Waterfalls, the opponent shields up the Crunch. Ty makes Crunch number two. We didn't get a defense drop, so this isn't quite going to knock out, but will land for decent damage. We then combo play into Milotic. The opponent has Charizard. The opponent is absolutely in shambles. Interestingly enough, this opponent is on Fire Spin. I think Fire Spin's pretty good in this meta, as there are a lot of Ice types. What the heck? The opponent full sent the overheat. Milotic, really thick. Tank that resisted damage really well. Back out comes Empoleon. Uh, I'm still in shock. The opponent full sent the overheat. I think that's actually a really fun move set. There's so many ice types. I don't think anyone's respecting overheat. We shield up the Hydro Cannon. If the opponent throws another Hydro Cannon, Milotic will survive. The Dragon Tail does go through and we manage to win another spicy game. Moving on to the next one. Pretty good lead, Milotic into Polyrath. The Dragon Tails are going to chunk. The opponent can hit for decent neutral damage with Dynamic Punch. Ah, uh, submission. Submission is Legacy on Polyrath, but let me tell you, it's one of the worst moves you could ever run. It is 50 energy for 60 damage, whereas Dynamic Punch is also 50 energy for 90 damage. So even if you have that Legacy move, I definitely would not recommend it. It's a pretty cool flex, but absolutely useless. The opponent switches out into Agron and Ty's got a whole heap of energy, fires off the first Aquatel. The opponent lets it go. The second Aquatel does draw a shield. Can we make one more? No, we can't. Agron gets the full farm down. We can come into Swampert. We can tank absolutely everything. The opponent fires off the Meteor Beam. Meteor Beam hits like a truck, but Swampert, due to the ground typing, does resist it. Ty is going to shield up the next one. It's only a heavy slam Ty now. Mudshot farms down. Back out comes this legacy Polyrath and Ty goes straight for the return. The opponent, probably fearful of an earthquake, commits the shield. They're now probably absolutely bamboozled. While they're in shock, Ty combo plays into Milotic, serving up the Big Mac and the Fry's Hyper Beam returns them to their Pokeball. Out comes Typhlosion. 
the opponent goes straight for the blast burn. Blast burn doesn't knock out Milotic, so, so thick. We're up the surf, surf doesn't quite knock out. They shadow claw down, however, one or two mud shots is gonna be all she wrote. Moving on to the next one. Milotic into a shiny Charizard repping Dragon Breath. All the Spice Lords are gathering today. In this video, the opponent say switches into Polyrath, and this one is not on Legacy Submission. They fire off the Dynamic Punch, stay in school, kids, learn to count. Ty catches the next Dynamic Punch on his Gyarados. It takes Polyrath six mud shots for each Dynamic Punch. Ty can probably farm this all the way down. If the opponent is on Ice Punch, they can hit back. For neutral, however, non stab Ice Punch isn't a particularly strong move. The opponent makes one more Ice Punch. This won't knock out, however, Ty is going to respect it. With a shield, we are now going to Dragon Tail farm all the way down, and Gyarados is absolutely loaded. The opponent can't send back out Charizards. So they choose to come in to Swampert. That Charizard has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The opponent smartly no shields the first charge move. We are now going to spam out an Aquatel. Aquatel draws a shield from the Swamp, but they combo play into Charizard. We're already at the next Aquatel. Aquatel going to be drawing the final Protect Shield. We wham bam combo play into Milotic and we're full sending the beam. Beam almost one shots. Can we Dragon Tail down before a charge move? We cannot tie. Clicks no shield. The opponent fires off a Dragon Claw. That doesn't do a lot. Milotic is going to be hit with a charge move and again tie. Not going to shield this up. We get taken out with a Hydro Cannon. We've still got a full health Swamper. And you know it's coming. I know it's coming. The opponent probably didn't know it was coming, but we were going to throw a return. However, the opponent ruined all of our fun and conceded the match. Moving on to the next one. Milotic into Empoleon. Tie this time, say switches into Gyarados. We get the defense drop. The opponent now going to return fire. With a charge move, they go for a Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon is slightly less energy efficient than Drill Peck. However, I've got no idea what the recommended second move is. Perhaps something like Flash Cannon. Either way, Drill Peck and Hydro Cannon both hit for around similar damage. Drill Peck being neutral does hit for slightly more, but either way, it doesn't make all that much difference. Ty just completely sacks Gyarados, comes in to Swamp, but we then get a nice mud shot farm down. The opponent sends out Blaziken. Ty over farms, fires off the Hydro Cannon, does Blaziken want to commit a shield? Yes, they do. We're already at the second Hydro Cannon, Blaziken. Super glassy Hydro Cannon takes him out. The opponent's final Pokemon is a legacy rollout Golem. This Golem is absolutely screwed. Ty allows a Rock Blast through. That does absolutely nothing. We then combo play into Milotic and the opponent just stands there. In absolutely awe of this giant snake. Not really. I think they've rage quit. So why not throw the BM Beam? Beam is resisted. It absolutely doesn't knock out. However, Ty is going to be able to Dragon Tail down. Please, if you're ever in this situation, just top left. There's nothing more annoying than people quitting the app mid-battle. Moving on to the next one. Huge, huge core breaker. We see Cray Dilly in the lead. Cray Dilly able to beat all three of our Pokemon. Ty catches the Grass Knot. On Gyarados, so it is only neutral. The opponent is staying into Ty, reaches his Aquatel due to Cray Dilly's grass. Rock type in Aquatel does hit for neutral. The opponent commits the shield. Ty gonna match shields. The opponent again fires off the grass knot. Gyarados does have the higher attack stats. We are gonna be able to fire off Aquatel on CMP. Does the opponent want to commit that final shield? No, they do not. Gyarados has done its job, so Ty just gonna allow it. Two go down, Grass Knot takes us out. We come back into Milotic, looking to farm down. We get the farm down, we leave with a whole heap of energy. The opponent sends out a Bomber Snow. And are they going to respect the beam? Ty charging it up. The opponent shows no respect. And that actually did do quite a disappointing amount of damage. Ty is going to shield up a potential energy ball. The opponent full sends it. Great shield from Ty. We should be able to Dragon Tail. Farm down now again. A huge Core Breaker taken out. The opponent's final Pokemon is jealous that we bank a beam for later. Send out Swampert. Swampert can tank any move. The opponent fires off a Surf. We have no shield, so I think you want to throw straight Shadow Balls. Or maybe one Shadow Ball and Surf is enough to take us out. The opponent again fires a Surf. Hello, trainer. What are you doing? Ty going to start unleashing the Hydro Cannons. Hydro Cannon draws a shield. Ty already at the second Hydro Cannon. 
This should put Jellison in a range where perhaps a resisted beam takes him out. I've got no idea. I've never seen anyone throw a beam at Jellison. The opponent allows us to get to one more hydro cannon. This definitely puts him into beam range. Ty actually throws the surf. Surf doesn't quite knock out. We're at the next surf. This one definitely will. And finally, this game is over. GG's and thanks for playing. As much as I wanted to see another beam land, Surf was the better player. Water, only single resist water, whereas Ghost double resist normal. Moving on to the next battle, we see our fake dragon into a real dragon. The opponent retreats into Empoleon. We're looking to chip him with the Surf. The opponent lets it go. They are then going to return fire with a charge move. Again, we see Hydro Cannon. Is no one running Drill Peck in this meta? It looks like evidently they are not. Ty then switches out into Swampert. He is going to shield up the Hydro Cannon. He's then going to over farm. This is definitely Hydro Cannon range. So Ty fires off the Hydro Cannon. Empoleon does commit a shield. We then fire one more mud shot and the next Hydro Cannon. A really questionable shield from the opponent. The opponent lets the next one go through. They then send out Kingdra. Come on, Ty. Make the return. We fire off the Hydro Cannon, which is double resisted on CMP. The opponent full sends the outrage, taking us out. The opponent thought, surely you don't have a second fake dragon. Well, surprised. Gyarados looking primed to sweep as the opponent's final Pokemon is Swampert. Crunch gets some low. The opponent going to throw a Hydro Cannon, an easy tank for Gyarados. Ty is going to be able to outpace to the Aquatel. Where is the opponent going to invest that final Protect Shield? If they invest it here, I think this is game over. The opponent does shield it up and it's CMP. This Hydro Cannon isn't going to take us out. Ty soaks the damage, pivots out into my Lotic, looking for the farm down. We get the farm down. We've got the beam locked and loaded. Kingdra has no protect shield, so it's going to be Night Night, Sleep Ty. And that is going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. Huge shout out to Ty. As always, very entertaining battles. I've never seen return on Swampert. Would I recommend it? I'll let you guys decide. So enjoy the content. Smash that like button if you're new. Consider subscribing if you like your battles featured on the channel. Link to my battle submission form is down below. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.